Hey everyone, hope y'all are well. It's been an exciting few months with the release of many new and exciting tech, with one of the most noteworthy being the release of the newest iPhones, the iPhone 13s. I'm here today with a rundown of what's new with the iPhone this year and what you can expect if you're looking into purchasing the newest model. There are a few notable improvements this year, which may make upgrading worthwhile. In this video, I'll give you a rundown of what's new and compare the iPhone 13 series against each other and also show you how they compare against last year's iPhone 12 series. There are four major improvements that Apple has made. The first being the new processor, the A15 Bionic chip. Apple upgrades this annually and it unlocks new features such as cinematic mode when taking a video. This is basically called rack focus, which means your iPhone would automatically shift focus from one subject to another. It is a feature which is generally used in movies to guide the audience's attention. In addition, the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max supports ProRes video recording, which is a high quality recording that retains lots of data. This allows for more flexibility when doing post-production work. Most people may not find this useful as it eats up a lot of memory. However, it would come in use for video editors and content creators. Another improvement in the new iPhones is the screen. The iPhone 13 and 13 mini have also gotten a slight improvement in their screen. From a 625 nits max brightness, they have been bumped up to a 800 nits max brightness allowing for a slightly brighter display. This essentially means that these models carry the same screens as the iPhone 12 Pro. But the biggest screen improvement comes with the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, as they are now equipped with ProMotion technology, which supports an adaptive refresh rate of 120Hz. Until now, all iPhones only had an option for a 60Hz display. So you can enjoy the fluid experience of 120Hz when needed. And when not needed, go down to as low as 10Hz to save battery. Speaking of battery, the iPhone 13 series also tackles the battery life complaints from previous iPhone models. The iPhone 12 series with the exception of the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max models struggle to survive a day without needing to recharge the battery. Apple has improved the battery life concern thanks to the optimized A15 Bionic chip, improved screen, and a slightly bigger battery. As a result on all the new iPhones, on an average day of use can get you through a day without needing to reach for a charger. At the same time, with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you can comfortably go well over a day's use. You can further go on to say that amongst most smartphones, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is the battery life king. Finally, you can't talk about the new iPhones without talking about the cameras. The iPhone 13 series also sees an improvement with the camera quality. The new cameras are built to let in more light, enabling it to reveal more details in the dark and produce better pictures and videos. As a result, it is able to deliver one of the best and most consistent results from any smartphone camera in the market. To end off, what model of the iPhone should you choose? First of all, the notch on the top of the screen compared to the previous models, the width is 20% less and the height is slightly taller. Personally, the difference is negligible to prefer the new iPhones versus the last year models. If you have to choose, then one comparison can be made is, the iPhone 13 would be better than the iPhone 12 Pro, which would be better than the iPhone 12. For most people, the main reason to get the Pro models is because of the higher refresh rate and better battery life. In general, iPhones are already buttery smooth, so for most people it's not worth spending the extra money for the Pro just to get the 120Hz display. If battery life is your concern, then instead of the previous model, select the iPhone 13 series, with the best battery life being in the Pro versions. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. For future videos and giveaways, be sure to subscribe. Let's continue the conversation in the comments section below. What phone did you buy or are planning to buy? Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and feel free to reach out and connect. Until next time, later.